Incoming transmission. Hey folks, Irish Trekkie, back another Star Trek, the official Starships collection issue review featuring issue 178. We have the Husnook warship. We're getting very, very close to ending the regular run collection, so to speak. Um, really looking forward to opening up the Husnook ship and checking out this big beastie in detail and uh, having a look at what goodies lay inside the magazine. Thanks to Hero Collector for sending this over. It gives me the opportunity to do reviews for you fine folks. And uh, that's all as a result of your support over all of the times I've been doing these videos as well. You are all absolute legends. Um, big shout out to the Patreon supporters for checking out and supporting the channel on a monthly basis. And if you want to support, all the details are in the doobly-doo. And you can check out the merch store as well where uh, that directly helps the channel. And there's some fantastic fan art designs and sundry over there as well for you folks to enjoy so uh thanks for that let's uh, check out the magazine and the model and uh see what goodies that we have so let's check out the husnuck ship shall we pretty wide base on this and uh, got it oops it is i don't want to break the husnuck ship everything seems okay and a little bit of ASMR. Uh, 4523 A slash B. And we'll just get this mounted just while we're here. And uh, yeah, looks pretty good. So put that to one side. And uh, we'll have a look at the Husnock, shall we? So this is a big ship, um, if memory serves from the episode. Uh, very different to, uh, especially these kind of uh, spines or, you know, daggers, whatever you, whatever they're referred to um, in the ship breakdown. But uh, you can see the size of the ship with the window detailing. Uh, no sculpt, they're just painted on, which is great. A little bit of detailing in the hull and some slight variation on the paint apps. And there's a little bit of aztec -ing in there to boot as well and again these are the the weapons i remember like the the beams connecting um on that and again you can see more paneling detail in there on the paint applications nice negative space in here some nice geometry in your engine assembly purple very dominion-esque pinky purple yeah it's pretty cool actually isn't it it is kind of like that wedge shaped freighter design that we're we're used to like with you know the pack lids and and such but um yeah it's pretty cool actually it's kind of like something that lore would design for the borg and, and stuff like that nice geometry around here as well it's pretty cool actually i dig it and again the paint applications are pretty nice there isn't really any other markings on this warship but uh, yeah she had planet weapons of mass destruction at her disposal didn't she um let's see what she's like on the stand and uh, we'll go from there shall we so there she is on the stand uh, that wide stand allows it to settle over the the wings of the ship as well so it's pretty stable um to be honest with you um take a good bit to knock that from its perch to be honest with you Half mounted, a little bit of a raise in it. Gives you a nice shot of those uh, weapons uh, on the underbelly of the ship itself. But um, pretty cool. Um, nice to get the Husnock warship in there. I remember when this was uh, announced as well, there was a little bit of a why um, <laughs> across the social medias and in, at the conventions and stuff like that as well. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I remember the, the episode was, was uh, pretty nifty as well, to be honest with you. I'm very curious to know what you folks think um overall i think here collector did a good job the seams are nicely hidden in there as well and again like die cast for the most part with the uh, just some of the detail and really being in, in in the plastic as well um but let's compare it to a ship in the line just to kind of get a sense of scale uh with itself as well just because i mentioned it earlier why not get uh the old uh, borg renegade ship out um just because, I don't know, it just kind of gives me the vibe of like something that they do as well. 
But um, here we have the Borg Renegade ship and the Husnuk warship side by side. Two uh, foreboding uh, opponents for uh, the Enterprise D. And um, yeah, pretty decent, but it just goes to show the Husnuk ship, it's a pretty decent sized ship overall. And uh, yeah, I think a, a nice addition to the collection kind of wrapping up as we edge ever so closely uh, to the very end, issue 180. Oh, gets my gets my pulse racing. Uh, it's kind of like, not, not that it's a chapter closing, but still it's, it's kind of momentous to say the least. So let's check out the magazine. Uh, issue 178, we have the Husnuk warship, 24th century, 1300 meters, energy beam weapons. She's a big beastie, all right. Uh, we have our four sections, the Husnuk warship, location shooting on the survivors, Hans Beamler on the next generation and on screen appearances. Our mounting instructions, we have our profile and our close up shots of uh, the big beastie as well. Positron and anti-proton beams. With five times the mass of a galaxy class vessel, a Husnuk warship was a formidable sight. Its electromagnetic particle weapons could destroy all life on a planet, whilst its shields could absorb a sustained barrage of fire from the Enterprise D. Um, so yeah, these are the guys that uh, laid waste to um, uh, Rana 4. Yes, exactly. And then the, spoiler alert, the, the being on the planet uh, basically wiped them out uh, in retaliation to it but um yeah again fantastic to see such a beastly ship for kind of like a ship of the week to be honest with you some nice close-up shots on screen shots for the episode and again it was a good episode actually good tng a good tng episode for sure some nice uh, run through here some lore and again some of the the background events as well uh, you're looking at anti-protons, equivalent firepower from 40 megawatts to 400 gigawatts. Uh, I love the <laughs> I love the science that goes into these. Gives that little sense of reality. Uh, perplexing encounters. So the Husnuk warship was uh, that was encountered by the Enterprise D was in fact a creation generated by an energy being from uh, the du Duad Duad civilization. I can't remember the name of the, <laughs> the civilization. He tried to force the Enterprise D into leaving him alone using his uh, recreation of a Husnuk warship. So it was all an elaborate ruse based on real events. So here you have those uh, three spikes. Uh, primary energy beam weapons, main bridge. Um, obviously the whole engineering as well. So kind of, it's akin to a lot of the like the, the alien freighter ships. Uh, Packlids and, and, and so on and so forth that we would have come from it to... Uh, be familiar with uh, through TNG era as well but um, yeah it's pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool ship uh, location shooting on the survivors so the grounds of the beautiful Malibu home played a crucial role in providing a location for the Uxbridge's house in the survivors so yeah look at that Malibu home I'd have you uh, again some fantastic uh, yeah, there were some pretty good locations and um, throughout TNG as well. But I always loved the early seasons where you knew it was a set and it's kind of like, just like TOS and so on and so forth as well. So Hans talks about his experience on working on the first three seasons of TNG and in particular the episodes he helped write as well. Um, oh, well, well, hello. Yeah, actually, he had his. Yeah, he was involved in quite a, a good number of very interesting stories, to be honest with you. You know, like season three is where like TNG for a lot of people kind of kicked off. Um, but there were some gems in the early seasons as well. But you know, the the early seasons have kind of dated when you when you look back on them now. But the later seasons, not so much. So we have a little bit of um, background there to dive into some of those episodes as well for those inclined again i'm more of a into the ships when it comes to these magazines so i don't spend too much time on this type of content here but um you know this again for 178 the, there's still uh, a lot of pages to fill as well um so that concludes the magazine review for the husnuk warship coming up next video we have uh, the vidian ship issue 179 edging ever so closer to 180 oh my god i'm getting emotional as i'm talking about it now um so anyway 
let's close off on the back graphic and uh, let's move on to the wrap up of the video. So folks, that wraps up today's video and thanks for stopping by to check it out. A uh, big shout out to Hair Collector for continuing to support the channel, it gives me the opportunity to do these reviews for you fine folks. And as always, that's a pure result of your epic support over my time doing these videos as well. Um, if you want to continue to support the channel, be sure to like and share the video. And uh, if you're new and you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button for plenty more reviews coming your way soon as well. And um, if you're uh, looking for some cool merch, do check out the merch store because again, that directly supports the channel and uh, continue uh, for continual improvements, so to speak. Um, you've all been absolute rock stars. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do check out the description box for uh, previous reviews that I've done. And um, as always, thanks for stopping by. Stay happy, stay safe, stay sane. And uh, I will see you in the next video. So take it easy and goodbye.